whatever it is that your goals are you want to start a youtube channel now you've you've gone back you've watched all these videos about how to start a youtube channel you've learned how to edit videos you've spoken to your favorite youtubers they've advised you you've gotten mentorship you've made friends that are also youtubers and you're still thinking about it you are still there thinking folding your arms hey can i start am i good enough am i pretty enough do i have enough money if you don't start that video if you don't if you don't start and create that channel nonsense take action it's gonna be living it life gonna be living it right gonna be catching a fly slice slice and a shot on the ice straight act and a lemon lime look hey friends welcome back to my channel it's your girl divine may here um this is a slightly different background from what you're used to but well, just make sure to stay tuned to my vlog to find out why I'm here and what I'm doing here. In this video, I'm going to be giving you 9 tips to transform your life in 2022. Now, usually with this type of videos, you'll see people telling you, wake up at 6 a.m., make sure you drink a coffee or a matcha latte, um, go to the gym, do this, do that. Nah aspire to acquire to inspire to maguire this is not one of that those type of videos i mean all those things are great don't get me wrong i don't have anything against it but in this video i'm going to be tearing down all those things so i'm not just giving you a cock and bull story of just you know selling the idea of transforming your life to you know i'm telling you what you actually need to do like the step-by-step -step process of what i have done to transform my life and what if you can do you can also transform your life so this is the real deal okay so without further ado let's get straight into this video so the first step to transforming your life is vision. I like to call this process envisioning. Now this process is where you actually sit down with yourself and ask yourself crucial questions. What do I want to look like? Who am I trying to become? The girl that I see myself at the end of 22, what does she dress like? What does she smell like? What does her bank account look like? What businesses does she own? How many streams of income does she have? You know, what does her body look like? Is she fit? You know, you sit down with yourself and ask yourself, what are those goals that you're trying to achieve to make you become the highest version of yourself? Because you know, you're trying to transform your life, okay? Clearly it means you're fed up with how you look, you're fed up with the stage that you're at and you're trying to move over to the next stage of your life. This is just, is, I mean, it's just like a simple exercise. The way I'm sitting down is where you sit down on your bed wherever you want to sit down but you sit with yourself and think think about the person that you want to be just envision imagine now in this process of envisioning right this process of envisioning who you want to be this is where the vision board comes in handy you can decide to create a vision board to actually put now those thoughts that you're having in your head so that you don't get so overwhelmed that you don't forget them you put them in like a vision board now i'm a digital babe so i did a digital vision board so you'll see the video tag here i did it on my ipad and you know the whole process of how i did it is on that video if you're interested and i use that picture as my wallpaper on all my devices so whenever i see it i'm reminded of those things that i've envisioned myself to have at the end of the year right so i don't know what works for you you might want to write yours in a journal you might want to do a physical vision board you know we're all different we all have what works best for us you can be a writer you might like to write instead now you can use your journal to itemize the things that you see your higher self having or doing or becoming right you take note of that you write it down or you can create a physical vision board and maybe put it in your room put it in your office just put it somewhere that you can always see so you remember the vision that you have for your higher self now that's number one number two this second phase i like to call it the truth and honesty phase hmm, this is this is actually one of the most difficult phases because a lot of a lot of us right who are not realistic with ourselves we have all this vision like if i ask you now what do you um you want to transform your life what do you want to become i want to become a billionaire how first of all you don't even have to more than one stream of income you don't even have a job you probably don't even have a business you don't have anything but you just know you want to become a billionaire i mean i'm all about dreaming big i mean I, I advise everybody to dream as big as your mind can take you but in this particular phase you have to be honest with yourself you have to be realistic now when you're setting goals right make sure your goals are smart what does smart mean smart means that your goals are specific they are measurable they are achievable relevant and t stands for time bound okay i'm gonna put it on the screen and um, this is something one of my mentors taught me when i was still working um, at my previous job uh, i'll never forget it because i used to be one of those lofty dreamers i would dream every single dream in the world and i'll be feeling bad when i can't achieve it but i never learned how to make smart goals so let's circle back again number one is that you have a vision you've envisioned what you want to be and let's say you want to you want to be someone who is fit by the end of 2022 and number two now you've sat down with yourself you've gone through the truth and honesty phase 
if you're not honest with yourself you know i can't be a billionaire but i can at least achieve being a billionaire i can't lose 400 pounds but i can at least achieve 100 pounds you have now narrowed down your goals okay at this truth phase you're narrowing down your goals you are checking what is achievable you are checking what's possible you are scrapping anything that is looking like a lofty dream like you're Anything that you know you cannot control, anything you know that you have no power over at that point, do not include it, take it out because you want to be very, very, very realistic with this goals. Now, another question you also need to ask in this truth and honesty phase is that the version of the person that I am right now, okay, the version that I am, can it achieve those goals that I have envisioned? Let me say that again. This version that I am right now, like who I am right now, this person, can it attract me those things that I want? So for instance, now let's say I'm envisioning that I want to be a billionaire. I'm going to use this billionaire and weight loss example just to drive my point home, right? I've envisioned now that I want to be a billionaire and I'm looking at the current version of myself and the current version of myself is jobless. The current version of myself does not have a business, does not have a side hustle. Obviously, that current version of myself cannot be a billionaire because how do I want to do it? I have absolutely nothing. Do you get? So one question that is very crucial that you must ask yourself in the truth and honesty phase is can this version of myself attract that life that i'm envisioning for myself if not then you have some work to do and that's where number three is going to come in very handy now number three is transform this is the transformational phase okay um this phase specifically refers to transforming your mind okay because that's where everything starts from let me tell you that's where everything starts from it's not about it's not so much about what you do on the physical or what's happening outside you the only thing you have control over is what's happening in your head, like what's going on in here. It's mental, it's all about mental. Even the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So as you think in your head, that's that's what you are. If you think you are useless, you are useless. If you think you are you'll be a billionaire, you could potentially be a billionaire. If you think you're a millionaire, you could be a millionaire. But bear in mind that you would have passed through the truth and honesty phase before you get to this phase, okay? Because at that truth and honesty phase, you already know that okay. I'm realistic now with things that I want. Now you are thinking correct thoughts. You're not just thinking random thoughts. You are thinking correct thoughts because your body is also in alignment with the thoughts you're thinking. Your mind is in is in alignment. Your surroundings is also in alignment. Okay, so see you have to follow these steps chronologically. Don't jump one. You have to follow them. Okay. I hope you guys are following. I hope you're following me. Okay. <laughs> because guess what? In this particular phase, this is where imposter syndrome will start coming on now because you've, you've envisioned your goals, you have been truthful to yourself. Now your mind is telling you, can you really become a millionaire? Can you really make that money? Can you really lose that weight? Can you really become the best version of yourself? Trust me, your mind will play games with you at this phase. So you have to make sure that you are you're like you're standing on solid ground like you have to make sure you're standing on solid ground at this phase now let me tell you how you can transform your mind okay you think i wouldn't tell you i'll tell you i'll tell you how you can transform your mind because it's once you once you hack this once you hack this particular one like it's over you've, you've gotten it already okay how you can transform your mind basically taking on learning all old habits old negative belief systems thought processes you are getting rid of everything negative and you're replacing it with positive thoughts so you are listening to helpful podcasts you are reading books that can help you achieve the goals that you want to achieve you are make, you are meeting people that can take you to where you want to go to this is the phase where you start making meaningful relationships meaningful friendships that will take you to where it is that you want to go to so for instance here yeah, um you want to start working out consistently you're not making friends that can actually friends that are actually interested in working out as well friends that are going to the gym too so that they can also motivate you to go um you want to become you know a millionaire you are reaching out to people that you feel that are successful to mentor you for instance so you're trying to transform your mind at this particular stage okay these relationships these friendships they're going to help in transforming your mind okay these books you are reading they're going to help in transforming your mind this podcast you're listening to they're going to help in transforming your mind okay you might feel like in this stage you're you are doing nothing like you are wasting your time but you are not trust me you are not this is the most important phase take it from me it's the most important phase okay and it never ends okay it never ends because you're you're ever learning you're in that phase of ever learning ever growing ever developing now number four this is called the intention stage okay now i'm not going to talk too much about this but basically just as it's as it states intention this is where you check your intention now why am i doing things that i'm doing why am i trying to transform myself is it to get back at somebody am i trying to revenge am i trying to uh, am i doing it to just show people that have arrived that made it in life if that is the reason why you are doing all these things Trust me, you won't last and you're wasting your time. You are better off remaining the same version of yourself than doing all these things for the wrong reasons because trust me, it's the worst thing. Like, you don't have to do it for your boyfriend to come back. When he sees you, he would know in his head that, well, this girl has changed her. It's time for me to come back. But don't let that be the motivation for why you're doing what you're doing. Don't let it be because you want to show your mom that you're not a failure, so that's why I'm doing this. Or because I want to show people in my school that I am this. Or because I want my Instagram followers to think that I have my life all together. Those are just 
those are the wrong intentions okay transform your life because you are tired of the level that you're at and you're trying to unlock your next level you're trying to live your life to your fullest potential you're trying to become the highest version of yourself you're trying to become the highest version of yourself so that you can become the best that you can be and help the world around you that should be the intention for whatever you're doing okay trying to become the best version of yourself so that you can provide value to your environment and the people around you simple number five which is the most important stage okay because we can do all these things we can envision we can check our intention we can transform our mindsets we can be honest and truthful to ourselves but if you don't take this number five action you are wasting your time number five is take action simple as simple as it sounds take action just do it so you can think about what you want to do, talk about what you want to do, speak about what you want to do, write about what you want to do, but if you don't do it, you haven't started, like, you are sleeping. And guess what, someone else will start it, someone else will take that business idea from you, execute it and make money, and you'll be there thinking, listening to podcasts from morning to night, okay? This is the most important phase. After, you've done all, after you have done all these things, okay, come back and take action. Whatever it is that your goals are. You want to start a YouTube channel? Now you've, you've gone back, you've watched all these videos about how to start a YouTube channel, you've learned how to edit videos, you've spoken to your favorite YouTubers, they've advised you, you've gotten mentorship, you've made friends that are also YouTubers, and you're still thinking about it. You are still there thinking, folding your arms, hey, can I start? Am I good enough? Am I pretty enough? Do I have enough money? If you don't start that video, if you don't, if you don't start and create that channel, nonsense, take action. Number six, consistency. Consistency is the most difficult thing. I will tell you for free. I myself, till today, I still have a battle with consistency, okay? I mean, it's very easy. All these other things, I think they are easy. It's easy to start. It's not easy to start, but it's, it's easier than being consistent, okay? It's easy to go to the gym one time, but to stay consistent, going to the gym two times, three times, four times in a week, you slack, okay? Or you finally start your YouTube channel now, now trying to be consistent posting every day, you slack. Or you're trying to be a millionaire and maybe your first business has already... Um, maybe you're not making any sales for the first one month you're already becoming lackluster about it so you're no more consistently promoting it again because you're tired so consistency this is where consistency comes into play like you if you want to become the highest version of yourself you have to master consistency that's one thing I'll tell anybody who cares to listen so I'll tell you how you can be consistent this is where you ignore your feelings forget your feelings your boyfriend broke up with you this morning because of that you're not filming YouTube video okay oh, should be when you're hungry your boyfriend will feed you get up and film that video okay film that video ignore however you're feeling just ignore those feelings okay now i'm not saying that you should be toxic with yourself and shouldn't cut yourself some slack obviously your body will tell you what your body needs when your body is absolutely tired and cannot do it your body will tell you and you rest but when you know that it's just a fickle feeling okay and that you can get through it get through it and go there are days where i'm not even feeling well okay there are days when i'm dealing with emotional trauma but i have to still show up and film a video you have to treat your life like it's a business treat your life like it's like you're, you're getting paid for it if you want to become the highest version of yourself you have to take yourself seriously the same way you go to job every day whether it's raining whether the sun is shining the same way you should show up for yourself every single day regardless of how you're feeling do it afraid do it confused do it sad do it tired do it complaining do it ugly just do it okay now this takes us to number seven so number seven is accountability accountability takes consistency to a whole new level if you want to be consistent why you can do all of those things i mentioned earlier about ignoring your feelings now accountability takes it to a whole new level now there are two ways that you can be accountable number one is either you have an accountability partner that's someone who would hold you accountable so say for instance back to our gym reference right you have a friend now as a gym buddy so now on those days when you don't really feel confident or you don't really feel up to going to the gym your gym body or your gym friend can motivate you the person doesn't even have to be your gym body it could just be a normal friend that is interested in your growth someone who's invested and, and interested in your growth calls you up motivates you and says oh you know what i'll drive you to the gym today and they come and pick you up so that way they are holding you accountable so you know that you're not just accountable to yourself alone you don't want to let this person down now the second way that you can be accountable is being accountable to yourself which is my favorite part because sometimes human beings can stress my life so it's being accountable to myself so what i do is that i have a tracker right 
I have a daily tracker. So what I do is I track down every single thing that I have to do. This is where journaling now comes into full force, okay? This is where you can you can make a to-do list, for instance. So today, Monday, I need to go to the gym. I need to um, check out my business. Um, I need to um, brainstorm ideas on how to do this. I need to go and check. Let's say, that I'm running, I'm let's say I'm running a textile company. I need to go and source for fabrics. I need to do this at so so o'clock. I need to, so I write down the list of what I need to do and I track them while I'm doing it. I'm tracking it. I'm tracking it. There's just this fulfillment that comes with tracking your goals. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's just me, but any day I'm able to track, mark things off my to-do list. I feel like, wow, I had such a productive day. I mark things off my to-do list. I feel so good. I feel so great. As opposed to days when I'm just going with vibes and inshallah, like I'm like, okay, what did I achieve today? Mm, I just edited one video. Mm. But when I have like my to-do list, okay, I checked out my business. Okay, I did this. I want to be an influencer. I posted today. I ticked that. Or oh, my posted one YouTube video today. I oh, ticked that. I went to the gym. Ticked that. So it's like track your progress for whatever you're doing not only will it motivate you but to also give you some sense of fulfillment and achievement to just keep you going okay now number eight perfectionism this is my favorite my favorite part if you don't know i'm a perfectionist okay ceo of perfectionism university um all my friends know it's like everybody who has ever worked with divine Man knows that she's a perfectionist um it was not until recently let's say some two years ago that i started to just backpedal a bit on the perfectionism there were days when i wouldn't edit my youtube video because i was thinking about how to make it perfect like i would stay up thinking about how to make it perfect what transitions i want to do how i want to edit it how i want to film it how i want to i was i would spend days and weeks and months thinking about how to make it perfect okay and even when i'm editing i take donkey years to edit because if i'm trying to make it perfect well, i don't like the transition i'm going to tweak it ah, i'll play it 20 times ah, it's not giving what i'm supposed to give i'll tweak it i'll tweak it video that's supposed to take me one day to edit i will take one week and I'm still not satisfied because I'm trying to make sure that I'm dotting all my eyes and crossing all my T's and at the end of the day the video is still not the best video on YouTube it's still there's still gonna be one mistake there's still gonna be one thing that doesn't quite cut it now I'm not saying that you shouldn't strive for excellence everybody should strive for excellence in whatever you're doing but don't be obsessed with the idea of perfectionism that you don't now put in the work or you don't now do anything because it got to a point where because I know I wouldn't be perfect and I wouldn't even do it okay I would just be caught up in the idea of being perfect so this particular step is just telling you that becoming the highest version of yourself will involve you abandoning the idea of perfectionism strive for excellence but not perfection now last but not the least I can't believe I get to the end of this video I was having such an amazing time but every good thing has come to an end okay last but not the least pray 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 I cannot overemphasize the importance of prayer because except the Lord builds a house you build it in vain. I mean, you can do all these things. You can be consistent. You can envision your goals. You can track your goals. You can transform your mind. All of these things. But if God is not with you, if God is not with you, if you're not doing these things with God's permission, with God's guidance, with God's protection, with God holding your hand, you are wasting your time. Okay? You can. There's there's a limit to how much your physical abilities can take you. There's a limit to how much your physical strength can take you. But with God. It's just the icing on the cake, okay? It's the icing on the cake, it's the cake, it's the ingredients that make the cake, it's the everything, okay? So make sure that in all the things that you're doing, in your quest to transforming your life and transforming yourself, make sure that you pray. Whatever it is that you pray to, just make sure that you pray, establish that connection with your God, with your Chi, with whoever it is that you look up to and you worship. Yes, guys. We have come to the end of this video. This is so sad. I never wanted this to end. But every good thing has come to an end. If you guys want to see more videos like this, you already know. Let me know in the comment section. I hope you found this video helpful. Now, if you did find this video helpful, and you have friends too that you think will find it helpful, please share this video with them. Because I'm seeing that you guys will be sharing this video. You guys will just watch the video and keep it to yourself. See, in my channel, we're not stingy people. We don't keep information to ourselves. If you have anything that is going to help your brother, give it to you. If you have anything that's going to help your sister, give it to her. If you have anything that will help your friend, give it to your friend, okay? So if you know that this video is going to be helpful to you or your family members or your friends, please share it to them, okay? Share my link, let them watch it, share my channel, okay? They don't even have to follow me or subscribe. They just have to watch the video and use it and apply it and become the best version of themselves because that's all I'm after. I just want you guys to take these learnings and transform your life. I want us all to win. The sky is big enough for everybody to fly, to soar, to, you know, just achieve great things, okay? So do make sure to share this video, like, comment. Let me know your favorite parts. Let me know what it is that you would be implementing going on. And let me even know what you have been struggling with. What is that thing you've been trying to do that you just can't get a hang of it? And maybe I have some tips for you. Maybe someone in the comment section might have a tip for you. Um, and yeah, that's the end of today's video. I'll see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.